Almost 20 years ago, Swindon Cable produced a series of short features with the Swindon Society, looking back at Swindon's very own photo album, charting Swindon through the years. Now you have the chance to see the original series again, re-edited and remastered for widescreen. And at the end, please remember to like, comment or share on Facebook and YouTube. With the help of the Swindon Society, we're stepping back in time to Swindon of yesteryear. We're visiting another area of the town that has changed so dramatically over the years. We begin in the centre of town at Regent Circus. Yesterday, like today, the area a focal point for people entering the town shopping area. We start with a view of a very familiar building. The Town Hall is one of Swindon's classic buildings. It's remained unchanged through the years. This view, taken in 1911, shows the Town Hall specially decorated for the coronation of King George V and Queen Mary. The other familiar side, the town cenotaph, unveiled in October 1920, in time for the year's remembrance service. The cenotaph has remained in the same position, although much of the surrounding area has changed. This view clearly shows the old buildings in the background that were cleared as part of a road widening scheme. Now to 1924, and a view of celebrations. The town hall specially decorated for a royal visit, King George V and Queen Mary. The view clearly shows the tram lines through Regent Circus from Victoria Road. Just round the corner on the steps of the Baptist Tabernacle, crowds wait to get a brief glimpse of the royal couple. Everyone in the picture sporting a hat, obviously just the fashion for 1924. And talking of royalty, 1953 saw the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. Swindon was suitably decorated for the occasion. This is the area now occupied by Swindon's Central Library. Before the library was built, there was a very different view of the Town Hall, as you can see in this 1950s picture. We go back further in time now to 1902, a snapshot that captures life in the town. It's number 4 and 5 Regent Circus. The shop is Aware. it later became Avonweir, and existed until the early 1960s. This building is now the premises of the Co-op Bank. The 1920s and a view looking down towards Princess Street. It shows the head post office and a huge telegraph pole serving the town's telephone exchange. We'll take a closer look at that building in a moment. But on the right, another view of some of the buildings lost when the road was widened even further. This is Swindon's head post office in the 1960s. The road has now been widened and the library now exists behind the town hall. But as you can see, this is before any of the town's one-way systems. A 1950s view of the Methodist Central Hall in Clarence Street. The building was demolished and a new extension to the Central Hall was built in 1957. The buildings on the left are on the site of a farm dating back to the 17th century. Now many local people will remember the grand looking Baptist Tabernacle. It was built in 1886, but after falling into a state of disrepair was demolished. The Pilgrim Centre now stands on this side. The stones of the frontage were bought and stored with the intention of building them into a house front. The planning permission was turned down and the new owner unable to use them. And finally a view of an area that's disappeared completely with the growth of the town. An August 1967 view and the corner of Rolleston Street with the offices of the Bristol Omnibus Company in the background. 
these buildings disappeared with the extension of the Regent Circus College. That's a look back to yesteryear, thanks to the Swindon Society for bringing us a glimpse of Swindon through the years. If you enjoyed the images from the Swindon Society, please visit their website or look out for their books in local bookshops. If you enjoyed seeing Swindon through the years again, please like, comment or share the Facebook page and the YouTube page.